In this video, I'll guide you through how you can create a show on Roblox. Before we get into it, I just want to say that there are timestamps in this video so you can skip forwards and backwards if you need to. And if you haven't already, then subscribe so you can get more tutorials like this. You won't have any more problems later on. It's a win-win for both of us. Now, creating and uploading a show is really good because it allows you to earn Robux if you put it in on sale. Or you can just wear your own designs if you feel like it. There are requirements, however, if you want to create and upload a show. You're going to need 10 Robux in order to upload it and a photo editing software, but I have a free one that I'll show you how to use in this video in order to create a show. Anyways, no more talking, let's get on with the video. So the first thing you want to do is get the Roblox shirt template. So first go to roblox.com and make sure you are signed in first into your browser. Then what you want to do is go up here to this top bar, click on create. And you should be here in the creations tab in roblox, create.roblox.com. If you're not here, then just simply type in this URL right here, create.roblox.com, press enter, and you should be here in the creations tab. From here, you want to click on avatar items. After you've done that, click on shirts. In this filter section, click on upload asset. Don't worry, we're not going to upload anything yet. And then here, just click on learn more. This is just an article about the clothing in Roblox. Right, so scroll down till you see this image right here, you should say Roblox shirt template and there's a Roblox pants template. You want to make sure it's the one with the shirt template, you can tell torso, right arm, left arm, and it's a shirt. You want to right click on that, save image as, and then you can name it to Roblox shirt template and then hit enter. Now you have downloaded the template, you want to create and edit this so you can upload it. Alright, so to actually design your shirt, you want to go to a new tab and go to photop.com. This is basically a very free photo editing software online. From here, click on the X. Once you're here, you should see something like this. What you want to do is click on open from computer. Go to where you have saved your thing, your shirt template. Press and click on open. Now the template here should be fully loaded. And if you want to zoom in, you can just click on control zero on your keyboard. And yeah, you should be here. You can scroll normally to go up and down and, and hold control and then the mouse will turn left and right now once you're here you can see that there are labels to where your shirt design will be so you can see that's the back of the shirt that the left side of the shirt which is like over here that's the right side which is the right side of like your rib cage and whatnot up is like your neck area down is down and your arms are here that's your left back right and front that's the up as well and the down and if you don't know you can just refer it to up here so you can see where each label goes and now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a very very simple like hoodie design I'm going to get rid of these so what you want to do is go to the left side here and then you see this one tool right click on that and then click on quick selection and then what you want to do is just click on each individual group like this delete that delete that and then do the same thing over here yeah, and also quick tip if you're deleting and like you've got multiple outline like checkers and stuff and it's not deleting properly what you want to do is click on ctrl d and it'll get rid of that outline for you all right as you can see i deleted everything remember ctrl d to get rid of that and yeah you should just be left i don't know if you can see but you can probably see some checkered spaces all around the template so now it's transparent meaning that nothing's here so what i want to do is i want to create a hoodie so i'm just going to search up hoodie text sure. and then you can just find some very classic ones this seems suitable enough so what you want to do is right click if you have a, a texture and remember save image as save it to wherever and then this hoodie texture Click on save, go back into photo P. Now once you're back on photo P, go up to the top left, click on file, click on open in place, find where you saved your texture, click on open. As you can see, it has fully been here. So first of all, I'm just gonna resize it so I can fit the whole screen. Yep, as you can see, it's fit the whole screen right here. And then obviously you want to make this and make sure that the background is also seen. So you want, you want to go down to this uh, layer section here. There's a hoodie texture, then the background first. What you want to do is hold 
like hold left click on the background and move it as you can see the gray lines here move it until it's at the top up here there you go now if you want to like uh, change the sizes and everything go up here and for the transform controls click on that and then all the transform controls come up I'm going to zoom out by control minus on the keyboard I'm going to make it a bit smaller because the texture doesn't look good when it's very zoomed in and just a quick tip when you're doing this you see how there is these two squares over here and zoom in. Remember, do you remember when there were like squares here well, what you want to do is if you have texture move it up so you can see the check it area so basically a line here of check it area and then a full space of check it area this means it's going to be transparent and you'll see your players like skin color so it'll basically be like a sleeve you can actually put your arm through and then you'll see your hands and everything so that's what you want to do and then from here you can just customize it your own if you want to you can go back and search up roblox shirt template and then you can just have this open on another tab and see where the right side was where this side was and you can customize what design you want to add there for me i'm just going to create a very simple design in the, in the front section which is over here so i want to open another image remember file open in place i'm just going to add a random tv logo as you can see the here it is just resize him put him up here in the center over here and before if you have a, like a background or something that you want to get rid of, as you can see I have a white background here I want to get rid of. I want to go to your layer, as you can see it's over here. Right click on it, then click on raster size. And then go to the magic wand here, right click and click on magic wand. Select the area you want to delete and then hit delete. And then you can click out of here, go back up here to move it and move it up and down, left and right. Resize it, do whatever you want with it, play around with it, see what works for you and remember and look and source back here always look back and see what each part on the shirt goes so yeah just keep in mind to raster size if you want to delete something and have some space here once you're happy with it and you've done your whole design what you want to do is go up to file export as sorry go up here to export as and png this should be you can leave it like that and click on save it will be saved so mine saved as the same name as when I downloaded this template and yeah to actually upload it and put it on sale go to create.roblox.com go back there you may have it open in a different tab or not and remember go back to avatar items from here from classic t-shirts to classic shirts click on upload asset asset type to change from t-shirt to shirt then you can upload where you have saved the thing so as you can see I saved it right here and, and if you don't know which one it is sort by like the date modifier the time so I just it's 436 and I saved it at 434 which is when I edited this so click on open and then yep it should be right here you can give it a name I'm gonna name this as TV box shirt you can you can have a description I'm just gonna name it TV box on a shirt upload it for 10 robux I'm gonna upload again remember you would need robux for this and yeah it is officially on roblox so to go actually and see you'll be back in the experience tab click on avatar items filter out the shirt again and it should be here as you can see it is off sale what you want to do is click on that if you wanted to put on sale and click on on sale right here have a price, I'm just going to put some 10 robux, actually I'm going to put it at 5, I'm going to keep it at 5. You can open up for comments, you can put on, on sales, I said so, then click on save changes. And yeah, that's how you upload and put on sale a shirt. Now to actually wear the shirt, go back to roblox.com. It would already be in the user's avatar item, so go, once you're here, go to the 3 hamburger menu up here. Go to Avatar. Then from here, it should be over here already in your recent stuff. If you haven't seen it there, then click on clothing, then click on classic shirts, and it should be here. If 
I'll wear it. Well, my avatar has stuff wearing it and whatnot, so you won't be able to see, but as you can see, that's ba that's basic what it will look like. If I if I were to get rid of the arms and whatnot, then you'll be able to see everything, but yeah, that's basically how you create a shirt on Roblox for yourself or to put on sale. So if you liked the video so far, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and to see more videos like this and make sure you don't have any problems in the future, leave a comment on what tutorial you'd like to see next. And yeah, see you in the next video. Peace.